Why aren't you asking more questions during the interview? I've talked to a bunch of hiring managers and time and time again, some of the most common feedback that I get from them in regards to advice that they have for interviewing is to ask more questions. Meaning you as the person going through the interview, you should be asking them more questions. That's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Yo, what's going on YouTube? My name is Zach and this is IT Career Questions. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please go do that now because we post videos here that help you find a career path in the world of information technology. And today we're going to cover the interview questions because that can be one of the most difficult, challenging parts to getting or finding success in the world of IT, going through that interview process. And it can be nerve wracking. But what I want you to walk away from with, and in this video is, well, a couple things, honestly. And one of those is confidence in knowing that you can ask the interviewer questions during the interview. And that is completely okay and acceptable because I think the most important thing that you should walk away from this video knowing is an interview is a two-way streak, meaning it goes both ways. Not only are they interviewing you for the position, you are able to interview that company, that organization for that position as well. You want to make sure that this job is going to be a good fit for you. So it's okay to ask questions and to figure things out. And in this video, we're going to go over a couple questions that you can ask during an interview so that you can be prepared. And we'll also give you other ideas of questions that you can ask, or as you're going through the interview process, you'll learn to develop different questions that you can ask based on different topics that come up so you can make your way through a successful interview. So let's get started. One variation of questions that you can ask relate to what are the expectations for me in this role? What's the most important thing that you should accomplish in the first 90 days? What are the most immediate projects that you would take on or how long before you will be meeting with clients or having responsibility on your own or interacting with other departments? Asking questions along these lines are just great ways to understand expectations that they may have for you. And they'll hopefully give you a better idea of what your day to day would look like in that position. And then maybe what those first couple of months would look like as well, how they shadow you with people to make sure that you're getting skilled up on how they do things there. It's a great way for you to just understand how they are going to be evaluating you during the, you know, those first 30, 60, 90 days and how they are also helping you along, you know, your onboarding process process in those first 30, 60, 90 days as well. Another great series of questions that you can ask are related to the team. So you can really understand what the team is going to be like that you're going to be working with. So what type of skills is the team missing that you're looking to fill with a new hire? That could be a great question to ask. What are the biggest challenges that you might face in this position? Do they expect your main responsibilities in that position to change in the first, you know, 30, 60, 90 days, or even a year? Or you could just quite bluntly ask, can you tell me about the team that you'll be working with? Can you tell me about some of their roles and what they're doing in those positions? Who will you work with most closely and what other departments or units will you interact with? And can you tell me about your direct reports? What are the strengths and team's biggest challenges? Again, these are great questions that you can ask during the interview just to start to understand the dynamics of the team, how things work, who you'll be working with, and it's just great foundational information to get started with in that job. If you are interviewing with a manager or director, it's a great opportunity to ask them more direct questions as well, like how long they've been at the company and how long they've been the manager for that company and what's their favorite part of working there. They're gonna provide a completely different perspective on how they see things in that organization. So it's really important to pay attention to how they're describing how things work there and how the teams work together. Be very, very sure to watch out for things that they're mentioning, like red flags could be related to overtime and, you know, volunteering hours or things like that. Those are going to be those red flags that you definitely want to avoid at all costs. Other areas of questions that you can ask are about the organization. Uh, what are the current goals that the company is focused on? And how does the team work to support hitting those goals? What gets you most excited about the company's future? Or how would you describe the company's values? And how has the company changed over the last few years? What are the company's plans for growth and development? This again gives you a really good idea of potentially maybe what projects that could be coming up in your part of the your IT team. You know, what are you guys going to be assisting with and making sure that you are aligning with the company's goals? So it could give you a really good idea of, you know, how long you'll be in that position. Like how often are they, 
you know, uh, updating, changing technologies and staying current with things. How often are they just doing projects in general? This was just really a quick list of things that you can be asking during an interview. And I assure you and promise you that if there's one thing that you can improve on during your interview process, it's asking more questions. It's being more interactive with that person who is doing the interview or with that group of people who are doing that interview with you. It is perfectly okay and acceptable to ask questions about the job, about the team, about things that you'll be doing in that position. You wanna make sure that you have a good understanding of what you're doing there and what you're helping them with, and making sure that the things that they're doing align with your core values and your purpose. It's okay if those things don't align. You don't wanna end up in a position that you're just ultimately going to regret and be unhappy in day to day. Now I know if you absolutely need to have a job and that's the only option that you have, I get it. You're gonna have to you know, drudge through it basically. But it is important to know that you know, if you ever find yourself in a position where you don't have to take a job just because you have to take a job, you can watch for red flags. You can be very, very adamant about asking specific questions and making sure that that organization and the team that you're going to be working with are going to be a good fit for you. It goes both ways. And that's really the most important thing that I hope you take away from this video outside of asking more questions during the interview is that you get to interview them as well. So hopefully this video was helpful. I presented some of this live in person at the anti-siphon training summer camp that we did in Washington, DC. That's something I'm very, very excited about. We're gonna be taking that across the country and hopefully soon across the world where we'll have pay forward what you can classes live in person. So whether those classes are gonna be starting at $0 or $25, that's gonna be the, the absolute cheapest that you're gonna pay for those classes. That's what we do at anti-siphon training is give back to the community and help as many people as we possibly can. We're mainly focused on cybersecurity, but we're building out a lot of fundamental training classes. And you'll see some from Daniel Lowry, who we've partnered up with to make some of that happen. So you guys are interested in learning more, come find me at antisiphontraining.com. Love to see you there. And if you haven't yet, please, again, like, subscribe, because we do these videos as frequently as I possibly can. But hopefully it's helpful for you. Enjoy, and I hope you have a great day, and good luck to you in your IT journey. As always, take it easy.